Hey everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides, and this is Let's Play Daily number six. Today, showing off a little bit of new gameplay from two new Crucible maps included in the Dark Below expansion for Destiny. I'm also very excited to announce our first sponsor for this Let's Play Day series, HH Greg and LG are offering a contest where you can win a 55 inch LG curved OLED smart HDTV and a couple other prizes every hour on December 16th. So visit hhgreg.com slash OMLG and the link is in the description. Just click it and enter to win using my special code wiki. You can also, you, uh, you can also win a $500 HH Greg gift card by following HH Greg on Twitter and using the hashtag OMLG on Twitter, December 15th and 16th. The person who uses the hashtag the most wins. HH Gregg is an appliance, electronics, and furniture retailer locations throughout the US, as well as a fantastic website. So be sure to check out that contest and enter to help support me and Wiki Game Guides. So I thought it'd be fun uh, to talk about the old uh, football futures today. Good old Super Bowl prop bets. Uh, so the reason I'm not doing this video uh, live is because one of the few non-chemical addictions I have in my life is uh, the Broncos. I'm taking a little road trip down to San Diego to watch the Broncos hopefully fucking stomp those superchargers. The boys in blue. The boys in baby blue. And uh, I like to gamble. I like to put my money where my shit talking mouth is. I can't, I'm looking at the football futures right now. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Ah, the first three teams make sense. Green Bay Packers, heavy Super Bowl favorites to win Super Bowl. Exlix, which is actually in Phoenix this year. About an eight hour road trip. How do I know it's an eight hour road trip from where I live? Because I've taken it many times. Uh, and if the Broncos make the Super Bowl, I, I, I've already had this conversation with a couple of buddies. We'll tailgate in the parking lot, but I'm not paying, you know, a grand or two grand or however much it's going to cost to get into that game. Uh, so Packers, Super Bowl favorite, doesn't make sense, even though the Patriots are number two and they just played like two weeks ago. But the Packers nearly lost last week in Lambeau. Oh, this is a great blooper right here. Don't even love when you just jump a little bit too far. I should do like a blooper reel instead of just these daily kick-ass videos. Um, Packers nearly lost to both the Patriots and the fucking Falcons, and the Falcons are terrible. I guess maybe nearly lost is overstating it, but like it was a close game. It should not have been a close game. Like what the hell was the deal with that? Like there's no reason no reason whatsoever that the that the Packers should have let the Falcons stay in that game. Broncos are number three and nine and two. Oh, I should say the Packers are seven and four. Pats are seven and two. Or I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong numbers. Thirteen and four. So about three to one. Uh, Pats seven to two. Broncos nine to two. And the Seahawks are five and one. Five and one odds. I can't believe. Like the Seahawks might not even make the playoffs. And they are the second leading contender in the NFC to win the Super Bowl. It's a weird year this year for football. It really does not make sense. It's very hard to pick week in, week out who's going to win each game and what the what the line is like. It just does not make sense. I'm doing very, very poorly in my super contest pool. I do not like. I can't. I can't get a grip on it. Like I, I don't think that the packs that the packs. Packers covered in that game against Atlanta. So, pro tip for this actually, look at this. This is the only freaking map that I know of that has non-sticky walls. There are certain walls in this map that we actually cannot stick grenades to. Doesn't make sense. And I've, uh, the more you know. And back to live commentary, uh, because I wanted to actually talk about this. This little diamond right here in the middle of all these other crucible game types. This right here apparently is going to be the new inferno game type which was leaked recently uh so just imagine this diamond right here and what it's going to eventually be while i you know start loading up the next match uh so apparently some f clever motherfuckers went into the grimoire cards grimoire cards grammy cards <laughs> uh so i think the broncos have about a good of a chances of winning the super bowl as I have of pronouncing that word correctly. But if I just give it a clever nickname, I don't really need to remember the name. Um, Grimy Cards on Bungie.net said 
that there is a new Crucible game type coming out that has no supers, no radar, and no gear bonuses. Only kills earn points. Uh, from the description of the Grammy card, a modified variant of multiple crucible match types. Inferno tests your light against the darkness of conditions. So it doesn't really say, it, it says it tests your light. Now that doesn't really make it clear whether or not your light actually has anything to do with the amount of damage you do. So maybe it's going to be one of the new Iron Banner modes. Who knows? It goes on. Darkness prevails, leaving guardians to rely on their weaponry and combat skills alone. The enemy can only be found by sight and sound alone. They, were, they finished two sentences with the word alone in a row. Uh, rely on your teammates and keen tracking to stalk your enemies and shut them down without the trust in your most powerful abilities. True skill put to the ultimate test. No trackers, no supers, no bonuses, only kills earn points. So this is essentially a hardcore game mode. This new Inferno Crucible game type. And so my, <laughs> my first cynical thought was, hmm, no radar. A week ago, or two, three weeks ago, before they added the matchmaking or the, the in-game voice chat, you know, you hit select and you and you hit left or right on the D-pad, and you can join the fire team or the fire fight match voice chat, whatever the hell they call it. Like it, that this mode would be complete bullshit if it didn't have that in-game chat. So my, I instantly started thinking like, okay, so Bungie put this game out. They knew, okay, you got to jump when you're going through this initial area, or else you're gonna get sniped right at the start. Um. Oh, get him. Yes. First kill, first blood. Yes. Uh, so my my thought was like, Bungie, they knew that that voice chat, they're, they're a smart company. They're not dumb. They knew that people were going to complain about not having built-in voice chat, right? Because every game since Halo 2, oh my God, has had built-in voice chat. So why wouldn't Destiny have built-in voice chat? Well, people are going to complain about it. Oh my God. Damn it. I got double teamed there. Um, Crossley's looking the wrong way. Oh, look at that. Three of the six guys, four of the six guys on my team are in the red. Fantastic. Um, am I getting match made with motherfuckers from Australia and Germany? Drunk after work and getting out for work? Um, so, like, this game mode, like, playing in game mode that, wow, good shotgun range, motherfucker. Are you in the red as well? Guilty EXE. Yeah, one bar of red. Fantastic. I bet you love that lag shoddy, man. That's the only way you fucking succeed. Um, so Bungie, in my super cynical way of looking at it, which is how I look at basically everything in life, is um they they knew what the complaints were gonna be. Oh Christ, I mixed up who I'm chasing. Um and Oh, I don't have a fucking grenade do i have the wrong grenade equipped no i don't um and they knew that this game type was going to be completely impossible with with no voice chat because no radar means that you need to communicate really fucking well with your teammates and plus especially because it doesn't this game like this game type all like all the other game types they don't seem to do any sort of matchmaking based on how many party members you're playing with. Oh, that was not a friendly grenade. Man, they really need to have different colors on those grenades to tell you who belongs to. Oh, God. Oh, <gasps> that was a fucking throwing knife headshot on a guy with a golden gun. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. That was a great kill. Um. Oh, sniper. Damn it. I saw that freaking glare of his lens. Um. <sighs> Wow, our team is getting smoked right now. Well, let's be sure to get this heavy ammo. I'll turn that around a little bit. Um, so this game type would have been bullshit a couple weeks ago. When there was no... Uh, when there was no possibility of talking to other players on your team. So what came... Like, it's either... 
it's either that they knew that they're going to be adding voice chat and it was just like something that they had to add. Oh, wow. That guilty EXE motherfucker. Still with one bar of red connection. Look at, I, wow, until a second ago, I was the only person on my team with over 100 points. Holy shit, my team is getting smoked. This isn't even fun. Um, imagine what this game type would be like with no radar and no supers. I, it, it doesn't say anything about no heavy ammo, so I guess I would have died there anyway, but... Like, what did they... Ah, oh man, it to me just feels like they knew what they were doing. Like, they fucking plan this out and they knew exactly what features they were going to add within a month within two months within three months within uh with the new dlc update like every single step of the way like they intentionally withheld features so that they could kind of channel the discussion because like <laughs> there's no i mean like look at all the features that every Call of Duty game has. Every Call of Duty game has had since 2008. And how many of those features are not included in this game, right? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone out there. That was dumb. That was straight up dumb. I like, at this point, it's just like, yeah, who fucking cares? I'm just gonna fucking dance a little jig in the corner and talk about what they're gonna add to this game or what they withheld. Maybe explore the map a little bit? I don't know. Maybe I can fight Atheon? Is Atheon hidden somewhere down here? Can I shoot my corpse a million times and melee my- oh what's this guy doing? Hey buddy, can I push him off? I can push him off. <laughs> I just made my friggin teammate commit suicide. Routing Scholar. <laughs> that was completely worth it. Oh, this fucking game is a complete loss. So, what what do you guys think about that? Like, do you think that... Oh, stuck you. Double O, wolf. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Um, like, that's what it feels like to me. It's, especially with this new game type. Like, th that, like I, I had this kind of lingering feeling for a long time that that's what they were doing. But now this is just the icing on the cake of like, yep, they are not... They, they knew what features they would be adding from day one, which I guess really isn't that big of a problem, is it? I don't, it's not that big of a problem, except the fact that they're continuing to charge more for this game, for essentially to stay up to date with this gun, or with this gun, with this game, like you have to, oh shit. You have to continue to spend more money to be the top level, which is kind of fucking crazy. You, you don't have to spend more money to get voice chat, but when the Iron Banner comes around, if this playlist is an Iron Banner playlist, you will have to spend money to be an Iron Banner competitor. Oh, that was a good... I didn't get that kill. Bullshit. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, rocketed to the face. I want a super that gives me like not a revive but I, I like it neutralizes one super so if I get hit by a warlocks void walker thing it just neutralizes it kind of like uh, maybe I've been playing too much League of Legends but that whatever that one thing is it just blocks one ability <laughs> so one golden gunshot so it takes two golden gunshots to kill me or two rockets or Oh my god. <gasps> knife headshot, knife headshot. Is it doing damage over time? No. I think of what their armor ability is set at. Or what's this? Not armor. Uh, yeah, armor. Armor ability. That's exactly it. I think that determines... Whoa, that's a freaking free rocket right there. Oh, I've got one rocket. I need to reload. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is the only way I'm gonna get a kill in this match. I've got one rocket. Make it count. Didn't even see anybody to shoot. Where the fuck did he come from? <sighs> guy in first place on their team. On my team. On both teams. A guy in first place on both teams has one bar. Whatever happened to dedicated servers? 
you'd think with dedicated servers they'd be be like oh like that that was one of their big things pre-launch pre-xbox one launch oh god is oh jesus christ i should have just ran as soon as i saw that guy dancing around i should have just turned and fucking taken off this is one of the worst games i've ever played and it's uh a sponsored video, but I gotta put something up, right? Let's see if I can push this guy off. Is he playing? I don't think he's playing. All right, let's see if I can get another team kill before this game's over. We've got like seven kills left for the other team. Three minutes left, I think I can push this guy off the map. This is a lot more fun than actually running around and dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, stay on target. Oh, no, 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 oh. No, <laughs> you stole my team kill. Like half my team's not even playing. What the fuck is that shit? Well, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, be sure to check out that sponsor link. <sighs> what a ridiculous game. Thanks for watching and game on.